Hi guys, welcome to B Codewala. I welcome you to my new amazing project, Garlic Filter. So in this, we are going to filter some images according to the given button. So if you want to filter the watches, it will filter the watches. And if you want to filter the headphone, it will filter the headphone. If you want to filter the camera, it will show the camera if you click on phone it will show the phone and if you click on all it will show the all the images so this is our project we are going to make using html css and javascript we will learn how to make this filter items so you can see that while clicking on these buttons According to that buttons, it is getting filtered. On clicking headphone, it's showing the two headphones, and on camera, it's showing the cameras, and it's showing the phone while clicking on phone, and it's showing the watch while clicking the, the watch button. Clicking the all button, it shows the all the images present in our image gallery, and it has a very beautiful hover effect, which you can see. So if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so come to our vs code so first of all we start with the html file in this html file we have linked our style.css which you can see here we have a style.css file then we have the font family link pop-ins for our page then in body tag we have a section with class gallery so we have made a section in which we are going to make our gallery in which images will be there and we are going to filter it so in this section we have taken a div with class container and in this container we have a class row so in class row we have a gallery filter so we are going to filter the gallery so so here in a span tag we have a class with filter item and we have an active class also so it's showing the in active when you go to our page the all class will be active so when you refresh the page it will show the all class so in all class we have all the images so it will show the all images by default so we have mentioned active for this button and we have a data filter all then similarly we have taken a span for other button cells so but in this class we have only filter item not active because we don't want to make it active default we want to make all button should be default so in similarly we have a data filter watch headphone camera and phone so according to this we are going to filter it so in this container we have mentioned this buttons now we have taken another row and in this row we have a div with class gallery item and in this we have mentioned the data category here we have a data filter phone so in this we are going to make data category in which data our image is going to belong so in data category we have mentioned the watch so when you user click on this button watch it will show this image whatever the image we have mentioned in this img source tag attribute so here in this div we have a class with image and in this div we have mentioned this image with attribute src with watch one dot jpg so it will show the watch so and similarly we have a make another divs in this row class for headphone and we have given the headphone image and similarly for the camera we have given the camera images 
so similar we have repeated how much we want the image in our website so for phone we have mentioned the phone images so similarly again we have a watch for watch we have a watch images for headphone we have a headphone images so similarly you can repeat it and you can mention the category data category which to which our image is going to belong so according to that it will should be placed and when a user click according to this it will be filtered and in down we have linked our javascript file so we'll see later so first of all we'll see css file so here in css file so for the basic style of the web page we have a in body line height 1.5 and font family poppins or sensory then we have a margin 0 and box sizing border box for our page then for a row class we have a display flex and flex wrap wrap so for this row class we have wherever we use for that we have mentioned the css then for img tag maximum width 100% and vertical align middle for our images now we are going to a style all girly so in girly class we have a width 100% display block minimum height 100 vh and a beautiful background color and this padding 100 pixel from top and bottom and 0 from left and right which you can see this beautiful background color for our girly so here we have a container for container class we have a maximum width and we have a margin auto for our container class which you can see here in our container in which we are going to place our this all the buttons now for styling our navigation bar we have a girly filter class so here you can see here in girly filter class we have a padding 0 and 15 pixel so you can see this button we have a beautiful padding and a width 100% text align center and margin bottom 40 pixel and for filter item class so for this filter item class we have a color and we have a font size we have a border, the upper case, text transform, we have a display flex, inline block, border radius 20 pixel, margin right, 8 pixel, cursor pointer, we have a padding inside the buttons. So which you can see here the padding inside the button and upper case and, and border radius and line height and transition 0.3 second is in. So for this buttons. So now we are going to style our active button. So our active button is this all. So what will be the background color for our active button and color of the text that we have mentioned. So when now when our watch is active, then it changes the background and text color of the button. Now for styling our images we have a padding and width 25% and margin 30 pixel from bottom so when you go on all so it's only four images so why we have given the 25% width for our this images 1 2 3 4 so it will be 100 so 100% by combining all the four images now for images we have position relative overflow hidden and border radius 10 pixel and we have a beautiful box shadow now for the this is for the img class now for the img tag we have a width 100% height 100% and object fit cover and transition all 0.3 second is so 
to look it better the image should not be staged and it should look so nice for that we have written this css so now for our any overall images the images size will scale to the 1.1 so as you can see here the images scaling on hovering no for responsiveness we have a gallery item with 33.3 percent for the maximum width 992 pixel and for the maximum width 768 pixel we have a width 50 percent for the gallery item similarly for the 576 pixel we have a 100 percent width so when you go for responsiveness and expect the element so you can see here it is fully responsive so now that's it for our css file now come for javascript here the main for how it going to filter so using javascript it is going how it will behave on the web page so first of all in javascript we have get the filter buttons so whatever the filter buttons are there it going to get that so in constant variable we have a filter item in this we have taken getting the document got query selector so it will query selector select any classes tags or anything it can select so you are using query selector it does not define that you are selecting the id or class you can get the id class anything or tags so just we use query selector so in this we have mentioned the filter item class so filter item we have the class for each button so we are going to get this button so now we look through the buttons and add the event listener so you can see that i have mentioned the comments for user understand how it's our code is going to work so you can get this source code i will mention in the description you can go and read it if you have any doubt so we are going to look through the buttons so we are using the for each for looping for each button so when you click on each item on the yeah, button then we have generated a function that will remove the active class from the previous button so now the active class is all so it will remove that active class and it, it, it will make it none so no class will be present when you just click on any other button and add the active class to the current button so active class will be mentioned to the current click button so here the now the active button is all so when i click on watch so it will remove the active class from this watch and it will attach to the watch button so i'll show you when i like that if you click on this or uh, uh, watch it will remove this this act, active class so it's removed and it will add to the uh, watch button if you click so i'll try to with headphone so when i i pasted the active class to the headphone so when i refresh it so the active button is headphone so similarly we are now for getting the filter data attribute for the button so here in filter value constant we have getting the attribute of the filter data filter which you can see here so we are going to get this attribute data filter and we are storing in the filter value 
and we'll now we'll get the galley items so whatever the galley items will be there we are going to use through the classes galley item it can include watch or headphone or anything now we are going to loop through the galley item and so and hide the them based on the filter value so based on the filter value when you click on headphone it will show the headphone so that logic we are going to write here so we are using again for each for each item if filter value equal to all so if filter value equal to all and or this is the or symbol and then if item dot get attribute data category equal to filter value when i click on the watch and this data filter equal to watch and in this data category equal to watch it will show the watch so here item dot style dot display it will display the images in block and it will add the class so for showing the images now in else we have a hide the images so display should be none and item class list it will remove the show class so it will not show the item so according to this log logic if condition it will work so when you refresh it so you can see that it's working fine so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you